Hello everyone, welcome to today's video in which we are going to discuss about Tosca's future scope and career growth. I got a lot of requests on this particular topic as I am making this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. So I am going to cover all these topics as part of this video. If in case I am missing something, do let me know in the comment section and I can cover that as a part of another video. So what is Tosca? Tosca is a test automation tool developed by a company called Crycentus. Okay. Now there are a lot of test automation tools already existing in market. Why one opt for Tosca? Okay. So first of all, this is a low code, no code automation tool. That means that you don't need to know a programming language extensively to work with this particular tool. Without a programming language knowledge, you can cover a majority of automation in Tosca. Uh, there do comes a need in case of custom control creations where you need to know about .NET but uh, that is a very small portion. So that is one reason of the popularity of Tosca. Now second thing is it is based on model based test automation technique. So what does that mean is whatever page window is uh, etc is there like whatever application under test is there that could be captured using their unique scan feature and what that scan feature does is it captures that particular page property and then you can use those properties and use it in your automation test okay now there are a lot of different flexibility as well uh, given here like whatever type of uh, uh, validations you want to perform uh, whatever type of reports you want to do so those all things already exist in this particular tool okay now that was very high level as to why Tosca is being popular now the second major point is it is not limited to just browser testing okay it can be a extended to packaged applications like SAP Siebel uh, you can do mobile automation in this you can cover uh, legacy applications like mainframe you can cover Salesforce you can cover workday so it extensively covers lot of end-to-end -end technologies uh, in terms of how many technologies are listed they have mentioned it over their website around 100 plus technologies they support so this is going to cover most most of the technology this particular tool and as uh, every day passes they do create like updated versions of this particular tool which includes more and more technologies so so that becomes very useful in terms of uh, implementing it in organizations uh, where different tools and technologies are used. Now these were the major features other than that they do provide a lot of other features like they are developing uh, tools as well for uh, uh, the test planning and all. So they have a tool called QTest then they have NeoLoad then they are working on all the related testing tools which are already available okay so you can easily integrate your test automation tool with that however if in your current organization or if there is a need that you are working on other tools they do provide integration with majority of the tools like they have integration with ALM they have integration with Jira and those sort of things are already available in terms of uh, advanced capabilities they do provide a server where you can perform remote executions which is called DEX server in case of Tosca and they do provide Tosca CI feature as well which covers remote execution using CI CD pipelines as well. Now there are a lot of other features as well in terms of data management and all and I'm not going to cover all the different points here but these are the very high level pointers in terms of why Tosca to be used. Okay. Now let's come come to the third topic. Who should learn this particular tool? Okay. Now if you have worked on manual testing and you are planning to switch to automation testing, if you can learn the automation concepts, then if you already know about the automation concepts, then learning this particular tool is going to be easier in terms of learning tools like Selenium uh, or any other uh, automation tool which involves programming knowledge understanding okay uh, the good path would be to move from manual testing to this particular tool and then you can move to other uh, 
programming knowledge related automation testing tools uh, that should be a good learning path because uh, there you have to extensively learn the uh, learn the tool as well as a programming language okay so if i say only for manual testers no it is good for already automation testers in other tools as well because this tool is gaining a lot of popularity and it is always good to have additional tool in your skill which is going to increase you which is going to increase the opportunities which could be available to you and this tool is gaining a lot of popularity and their year on year growth is going very really good and uh, it is right now popular in the market market however it is fairly new so it is not that much implemented if you talk in those terms but it do have lot of visibility and now i am seeing lot of lot a lot of companies are trying to adopt this particular tool okay now let's come to the topic companies using tosca and why which are the companies which are using tosca so basically this is a license tool so you have to spend money to get the license and that is a initial factor in which companies think about like should i spend money on this particular tool or not okay so usually you are going to see bigger companies going for this particular tool because they can evaluate these things and initially spend money on this particular tool and it is going to gain popularity from a a multinational organizations perspective more than in terms of smaller companies so you are going to find opportunities in bigger companies most likely in case of using tosca which are the companies using majority of the existing companies like accenture is using uh, natwest is using wipro is using hcl is using uh, uh, bank of america lot of good companies are have already implemented a portion or most of it using tosca and why they have moved because it is easier or and cost efficient in terms of long term plan so initially you do have to spend money in getting the license but in terms of upscaling your existing resources it's easier and in terms of managing in terms of using its features to effectively and efficiently use uh, your uh, test automation suit it is going to be beneficial so it depends on companies to companies and their uh, projects and infrastructure and uh, how or what plans do they have but this is the major factor why companies are utilizing this because in the long term they are seeing lot of benefits in terms of cost as well as management as well okay now let's come to the next topic future scope uh, what do i think about this particular tool uh, i am using this tool from like last 5 6 years now and i see that every year this particular tool is gaining more and more scope and the companies who have implemented it are increasing the scope of implementing this particular tool in their other projects as well and lot of companies have gone end to end using this particular tool as their preferred tool of choice for test automation tool practice so i see a good scope in terms of uh, this particular tool in the market however if something better comes uh, we don't know because lot of lot of companies are there who are building tools similar like this like for example there is one tool called leapwork and every day something new is going to come up but in terms of already implemented like this particular tool has been already implemented in a lot of major companies so i do not see any graph going down in terms of future scope at least as of now and that is uh, my personal thinking that this is going to grow in terms of career path okay so if you are getting started with this you have all the different career paths of testing being applied to tosca test automation tool so you can always start as a junior automation tester senior automation tester then you can become a, a automation specialist here and then in case you want to move uh, you're interested in uh, not only like interested in some programming programming language 
you can learn about dotnet and work on the custom controls as well and then you have test architect path as well so they have laid down the entire path and the roles are available accordingly so you have from junior to the most senior role available in case of this particular tool in case you want to check more about this particular tool you can go to support.tricenters.com and that is going to give you a lot of uh, uh, like that is their official website and that will list out everything about this particular tool and you can explore there they do provide certifications as well uh, in case you are interested in learning about uh, what the certification or the career path is going to be there in case of certifications do drop a comment and uh, i can make a video about that as well uh, these were my few pointers on uh, Tosca scope and career growth. So I feel it is a good tool in terms of learning and Improving your skill set be it for a manual tester or for a automation tester and as I Can see it is going to have good future scope in the market uh, uh, That's it we can wrap up this video and let me know what you thought about this video Do like share and subscribe in case you like my content and have a great day. Thank you. Bye. Bye